Good morning. I am Divya from Dr. M G R University. Today we are going to see the heat conduction through a compound media. The heat can be conducted through a compound media through two ways. One is bodies in series, and another one is bodies in parallel. So now let us see bodies in series. So what are all the contents in that? Let us see. So first we are going to see the definition of heat. construction diagram and explanation now first of all we can know that what is meant by heat heat is what heat is a form of an energy so that heat can be passes from a body at a higher temperature to a body at lower temperature now we can see the construction of the body in series so it consists of what means composite slab so the composite slab or we can take a compound wall of two different materials so the material is made up of two different materials so one is a and another one is b so the thermal conductivity of a is denoted by k1 and the thermal conductivity of b is denoted by the symbol k2 the thickness of these two layers a and b b d1 and d2 respectively now you can able to see the diagram of this here we have already taken the two different type of a material that is a two different composite slabs a1 that is a and b and its thermal conductivity is what k1 k2 now see the explanation of that one let the temperature of the end faces be theta 1 and theta 2 and temperature at the contact surface be theta which is unknown heat will flow from face a to face b through surface of contact only if theta 1 is greater than theta 2 after a steady state is reached heat flowing per second through every layer is same amount of heat flowing per second through a is given by the equation which is already known q equal to k1 a into theta 1 minus theta divided by d1 mark this equation as number 1 next coming on to that amount of heat flowing per second through b q equal to k2 a into theta minus theta 2 divided by d2 this is equation number 2 since the amount of heat flowing through a and b are equal so that now we are going to equate the equation 1 and 2 so equating the equation 1 and 2 that is heat flowing from a to b that is equal so k1 a into theta 1 minus theta divided by d1 equal to k2 a into theta minus theta 2 divided by d2 now simplifying this equation k1 theta 1 divided by d1 minus k1 theta divided by d1 equal to k2 theta divided by d2 minus k2 theta 2 divided by d2 a and a it will be cancelling off now next we can see that rearranging that above equation if you rearranging the above equation we will be getting k1 theta 1 divided by d1 plus k2 theta 2 divided by d2 equal to theta we are taking commonly outside from the right hand side so theta into k1 d1 plus k2 divided by d2 or we can generally write theta equal to k1 theta 1 divided by d1 plus k2 theta 2 divided by d2 divided by k1 divided by d1 plus k2 divided by d2 equation 3 gives the expression for temperature at the interface of compound media which is having two layers now 
we have already solved the equation so now we can get the above thing as the explanation q equal to k1 a divided by d1 into k1 d2 plus k2 d1 theta 1 minus k1 d2 theta 1 minus k2 d1 theta 2 divided by k1 d2 plus k2 d2 d1 q equal to k1 a divided by d1 k1 d2 theta 2 plus k2 d1 theta 1 minus k1 d2 theta 1 minus k2 d1 theta 2 divided by k1 d2 plus k2 d1 so q equal to after rearranging everything we will be getting the equation q equal to k1 k2 a into theta 1 minus theta 2 divided by k1 d2 plus k2 d1 so that q equal to a into theta 1 minus theta 2 divided by d1 by k1 plus d2 by k2 mark this equation as number 4 so this gives the amount of heat conducted by two layers in series thank you